In this problem, we have three matrix products that we are going to try to evaluate if possible. This is a nice problem because it really has you focus on you know, the dimension and whether or not you can perform the multiplication. Let's focus on this first example here. So this is a two by two because it has two rows and then two columns. So the first number is the rows, the second is the columns. And this has two rows and one column. So this is a two by one matrix. And so what you do is you look at these inside numbers. So because the inside numbers are the same, yes, we can. We can multiply these. And the result is always the outer numbers. Again, this one is a two by two matrix because it has two rows. So one row, two rows, and then one row, two columns. This one has two rows and one column, so it's a two by one matrix. These numbers here are called the dimension, by the way. This is the dimension of the matrix. Then you compare the inner numbers like this. If they're the same, then yes, you can multiply, and the result is going to be um, you know, the outer numbers here. So we're gonna get a two by one matrix for this one. Let's go ahead and do it. So it's gonna have um, two rows and one column. So we do one times two plus six times negative seven. Right, because this is the entry in the first row, first column, so we use the first row, first column. This is the entry now, where my cursor is, this is in the second row, first column. So we use the second row, first column, negative three times two, plus five times negative seven. Negative three times two, plus five times negative seven. Again, this is the second row, first column, we're in the second row, first column. That's, that's where we are, that's what we use. And so this will be a two minus 42, which will be minus 40, and negative six minus uh, 45, uh, minus, uh, do that right, that's, that's a seven, minus 35. Negative six minus 35, uh, which will be negative 41. Yeah, it looks okay, I think that's good. I was like, 45, that's, it's, a, it's a seven there. I, I wrote it funny, it looked like a nine. <laughs> so, all right, let's try this one. This one is uh, two rows, one column, it's a two by one. And this one is two rows, two columns, it's two by two. Oh, look at this, look at this. These numbers are not the same, so no, so this one's not possible, right? Those numbers, they, they, have, to be, they have to be the same, right? Those inside numbers, if they're not the same, then you can't even do the multiplication, it's just not possible. Let's go to this last one here. So this one here is, um, let's see, has one row, two columns. So it's a one by two, weird, right? One row, two columns. And this one again, two rows, two columns, it's a two by two. So in this case, yes, we can. We can multiply because those uh, you know, inner numbers are the same. So the result is going to be a one by two. So it's a matrix with one row and two columns. So to find the entry in the first row, first column, we use the first row and the only row and the first column. So two times one plus negative seven times negative three. And then this is in the first row, second column. So we use the first row, second column, two times six plus negative seven times five. So this will be two minus uh, 21 so uh, yeah, two, I think I did that right. Let's see, two times one is two. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, it's a plus, it's two plus 21. So it's 23, so it's not minus, right? And then this one here would be uh, 12 uh, minus uh, 35, which should be negative 23. This is the hardest part, <laughs> is, the, is the adding and the multiplying, right? So uh, hopefully this video uh, has has been helpful. Good luck to you.